The next full moon, one of the biggest and brightest of 2023, will rise on Wednesday, August 30th. Since the 1940s, the phrase, blue moon, has been used to refer to the second of two full moons that occur in a calendar month. Since Wednesday's full moon is the 2nd of August, it qualifies as a blue moon. The blue moon will occur during a time when the moon will be closer to the Earth than usual, making it appear almost imperceptibly larger in the sky, just as August's first full moon, the Sturgeon Moon on August 1st. The super blue moon will appear on Wednesday at 7.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 2310 GMT, soon after sunset on the eastern horizon. But it won't be at its biggest and brightest at that time. The precise moment of a full moon is when it is 180 degrees away from the sun and directly across from our star on Earth. According to NASA, the moon will be in opposition to the sun for this year's blue moon at 9.36 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on August 30, 3.36 on August 31st. It will be in the Aquarius constellation at this time. Then, on Thursday, just as the sun rises at approximately 6.46 a.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 10.46 UTC, the blue moon will set. A blue moon, as previously mentioned, is typically categorized as the second full moon of a calendar month, even though properly speaking it relates to the third full moon of a season with four full moons. Since there are 12.4 full moons per year, a 12-month period has 13 full moons every 2.8 years. In order to accommodate two full moons, one of those months will have a blue moon. The full sturgeon moon occurred at the beginning of the month and the blue moon occurred at the end of the month since the lunar cycle requires 29.5 days to complete from one full moon to the next. However, not all blue moons are super moons like the August 30th full moon. A full moon that occurs when the moon is closest to Earth is known as a super moon. This occurs because the moon's orbit around our planet is elliptical, or more like a flattened circle or an oval, rather than circular. This implies that the moon's orbit has periods when it is farther away, at apogee, and periods when it is closer, at perigee. Approximately 220,000 miles, 350,000 kilometers, to 253,000 miles, 408,000 kilometers, or a 14% difference, separate Earth and the moon during perigee and apogee. Despite this difference in Earth-Moon distance, the appearance of the Moon in the sky during a regular full Moon and a supermoon isn't noticeably different. Supermoons may cause the Moon to appear a little bigger and brighter, but most people won't notice this unless they have a lot of experience watching the Moon.